Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is May 7, 2019. Your source of news before any trade decision. It's been about two days. We did a video for Cardano. So we thought to go ahead and update you all of what has been going on since our last video. We did our video on, uh, let me check real quick. I think it was two days ago. We did a video for Cardano. I think it was on the 4th of May. It was with the thumbnail time to sell Cardano, uh, May 4, 2019. So it's been about three days since we did our video and we thought we'd come in and show you what we're noticing in the market since that last analysis. And this was when we did our video here in Cardano. As you can tell since then, uh, this currency pair has maintained its consolidation of trading. Uh, but amongst that, we're still seeing more weakness than the strength at this present time so we're going to keep our profit table in tow uh, in the market for cardano i'm still expecting it to move to the downside if you guys can recall from that video previously uh, we stated that six and a half cents can be support uh, but what we're getting in the market thus far today uh, definitely increases the probability of it hitting that six cents price and even then with the weakness that we've seen consecutively uh, since we last did our video, we can definitely break that to the downside as we continue to move forward uh, throughout this week. Here we are looking at Cardano on the three hour bars. And you can still tell for the most part, uh, Cardano is holding a consolidation of trading range right around seven and a half cents all the way back down to six and a half cents is that consolidation of range in the market for Cardano at this present time. Now, what we're also seeing amongst this consolidation of trading is Cardano's inability to want to move higher. We're making lower highs in this space. And the last hope is going to be right here again when Cardano tries to touch that six and a half cent price that has to be maintained as support. If this breaks support as the next leg down, uh, then I'm still anticipating us to continue to move. Uh, lower in price in this currency pair. So again, nothing has changed in the market for our analysis in Cardano. We're still seeing weakness on these multiple time frames. Uh, the market is still insinuated that it wants to move to the downside. I can tell you though that the market participants are uh, definitely trying to keep Cardano from moving substantially lower in price. So if there's any negative news that will come out in Cardano, it would definitely push this currency price back down to lower prices okay so we're going to keep our profit table right where it is uh, we're still seeing indications that the market in cardano is weak we haven't even changed this tone of the market moving to the downside just yet okay so overall the, the weakness is dominating the strength at this present time we're still anticipating some movement to the downside i will uh like to see a whole six and a half cents but again the anticipation is for it to continue to move back down to that six cents price. And if so, from when we created this profit table, that would be almost a 12% profit on us seeing the market move to the downside in Cardano. So there you go. Nice and easy, plain, simple and see. Uh, we're still anticipating weakness in the market in Cardano. Nothing has changed from our last analysis. If you guys want to have more of this information, come on over to our website, hughfinancial.com. Uh, there we post all of our other newsworthy events of what we notice on the price charts for the other cryptocurrencies in the space. Come and join the other elite members of our organization, of our community, if you all want to participate in this fascinating way to determine where prices are likely to go before it actually gets there. Make sure you all maintain your profitability and I will talk to you all later.